Hey everyone, it's Christy from Honey Girl Coupons. This is my third time making this video this morning. I am such a nerd sometimes. I just, I felt like I was rambling. So I'm going to do it one more time. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to break up Rite Aid. This is everything I've gotten at CVS and Rite Aid. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Rite Aid first. And I'm going to stop that video and load it. And I'm going to do CVS first. Because I figure there might be some people that don't shop at Rite Aid that don't want to hear about Right, there might be some people that don't shop at CVS that don't want to hear about CVS. So I'm going to try and break these down into two short videos and let you know everything I got. So I'll do Rite Aid first. Now Rite Aid, one of the first deals I did um, this week, so there's not a whole lot going on Rite Aid. Um, I bought these eyeliners. They are $3.59. They're on a BOGO buy one given 50% off this week. I have this coupon. I don't know if anybody else has uh, heard about this or talked about it. It's a uh, buy one CoverGirl Blast eyeshadow or eyeliner, $2 off. Now, the way I read it at first, I thought it was like $2 off any eyeliner. Um, but I've seen other people say that it's not for any eyeliner, it's for the Shadow Blast. But I've never seen that. I don't buy a lot of CoverGirl, maybe there is. But I did ask my clerk, and I asked her if the coupon would work, if she thought I had to read it with me, if she's had any problems with anybody else doing it, and she said she hasn't. She said that it should be fine if it scans. Um, they can take it. If it beeped, then they wouldn't. Um... So they went through, it came to ten seventy seven minus eight dollars. You pay two seventy seven and you'll get back two two dollars up because it's buy two get two ups. You get four dollars ups and it's a dollar twenty three moneymaker. Now, this is just kind of at your own discretion. To me it's it off of any eyeliner. Um I have, some people might get offended and think I you use the wrong coupon. I don't know. Coupons are so tricky lately. The wording is so funky. I said, I don't buy a lot of CoverGirl. I'm pretty loyal to uh, Maybelline, but I bought these for emergency eyeliners and for gift baskets. But um, just let me know if, if what you got. Maybe you bought a little bit more pricier one. Maybe there is a Shadow Blast eyeliner. I don't know. I just grabbed these because I bought the coupon thinking it was for any eyeliner, but I've heard people saying it's not for any eyeliner. But it's kind of used at your own discretion. Um, and all I can say is try to use the coupons correctly for the exact product. Every now and then we have accidents where... We use the wrong coupons, not on purpose. At least for me, it's never on purpose, which I hardly ever do. But moving on, I'm rambling about the eyeliner. Just keep an eye out for that, and let me know if you've been able to use or what you've gotten. Now, the bear is a huge money maker. If you can access um, and get seven of these $5 off two coupons, I'll print a link. Um, if you buy 14 of these, 36 tablets, um, bear tubules are $3.29, BOGO. So one will be $1.65, I believe, or one... What is the math? Let's see if I look real quick. Uh, 165. Oh, my camera's going off funny. 165. If you can buy seven of those, it comes like, I think, 30 something. Um, I don't know the math. But um, you can use seven coupons. That'll take off 35 bucks. And I think it might even give you a little overage. But what I did was I grabbed a little bit of pricier one. Um, and now this is, again, this was an accent on mine. I didn't know it was 24 count. I just saw that it cost more, so I figured it was the same count as these. No, it's a 24 count. But I used a coupon um, to fight off any two, and I believe it does say 30 count or over. So that was my bad on my part. I didn't do it on purpose. I just wanted to grab a pricier one so that I could spend, um, buy 12 of them and use six coupons. It came to 30-11. $30 in coupons equals $0.11, cents, $10 moneymaker. Now, when you go back to the store, just try to find one that's a little bit pricier as long as it says study over. Um, and like I said, I didn't do it on purpose. That happens. I was in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry at Rite Aid, actually. Um, because like, Rite Aid is not my favorite store. And um, even though it seems like I get a lot of deals there, I really don't do Rite Aid a lot. Not like I do CVS. Because I don't, I don't post all my CVS hauls. Like I do CVS, a lot of random little CVS shopping trips. But anyways... Um, you can buy either 14 of these and use uh, 7 coupons, $35 off. I'm not sure of the math, but you can do the math here at home. It's $3.29, BOGO 50% off. Or do like I did and try to find a pricier one to throw into your 12 um, as long as it's 30 count or over. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty good money maker. Um, these Contour Next Ease, if you can find this diabetes coupon, there is a $10 off any Contour Ease coupon. See, it's right there, it matches exactly. Um, the coupon is gone, obviously, because I used it. This one I haven't used yet because I'm afraid to use the Overjet my Rite Aid. I don't think they'll do it, so I haven't even tried that yet. I don't even know if they're on sale anymore. But anyways, um, $10, use the $10 coupon. If your store will let you adjust it down, you'll pay nothing and get back 5 It just depends on your store and your clerk, so kind of buy your own discretion on how you want to do that. 
Snapware. I wish I'd known about Snapware when it was 25% off, but I didn't. And so I decided to go ahead and do the deal. Basically, it's spend 15, get 5. Um, I did see the sign when it first came out, but I didn't think it would be worth it. But when I broke it down, the math and the $2 off coupons that you can get is $2 off any, sorry, off any Snapware home storage product. No size restrictions. Beware, it does uh, expire the 31st. Um, basically, what I did, I have a math broken down. I bought three of these ones. At six forty nine, five nineteen gold. Um, two of these ones, and two of the little ones. No, five. One's missing, I think. Oh no, three of these, and two of these equals four sixty nine, regular three seventy five gold. Now, when I first bought them, it did come to twenty nine thirteen. I did use um, seven coupons that took off fourteen bucks, and I was like a dollar short of my other five. So I got back five. So later on I went back and got this one at 329, 263 gold and I paid like 63 cents and I got back um, my other five. But if you were to buy all these together it would come to 3182 minus $16 in coupons. That's eight two dollar off coupons. Eight of these. It'll equal you 1582 and you get back 10. You'll have to pay either money out of pocket or if you have extra, up, but extra bucks if you have up bucks to spend you can um, use 15 of them pay to 82 cents and get back 10 not bad when you figure you get one two three four five six seven eight Sheesh, what is that like almost 50 cents maybe 60 cents for a product that's like six dollars so it's pretty awesome because they are microwave safe they are dishwasher safe they are airtight they're leak proof and they do um, open like this so the likelihood of these lids popping off is very unlikely. I I really like them. I can't wait to be able to use them. I wish I like I said I wish I'd known about the twenty five percent off because I could have gotten some of the bigger ones, um, but I didn't know till last minute. But I mean I figure for this many that's pretty good. Now this little stack over here is another one I'm working on on another card. Um, I need to buy one more um, cheaper one because three of these equals fourteen dollars. So I haven't even got my five up yet. But um, I'll work on. It. That's like I said a. a at Rite Aid, it's hard. Like sometimes you get really good money makers. Sometimes you have to spend some of your up bucks to get things that you want. And there's been a few times where they had nothing, and my up bucks were gonna expire. I literally just had to go buy stuff that I need, or and which that's pretty much what couponing is for—to get stuff to like that you want or need, or they can give to people, and to keep your money rolling. So Rite Aid, I go to Rite Aid a lot, but I always get like little tiny hauls because I always have to roll my money there because otherwise I'll let them expire. But it's just kind of idea. The Snapware is still going. It's a monthly deal. Spend 15, get 5, a limit of 2. And if you have gold, it's 20% off. If you have silver, I think it is. I haven't been silver in a long time. Um, it's 10% off. If you don't, they're just regular price. Still a good deal, but not as good as if you have 20% off. Now, these do go back on sale on the 31st for 25% off. But I don't know. Um, I know the monthly deal ends on the 30th. Maybe they'll roll it again. They do that a lot, but it's just an idea. But um, if you want these coupons, though, they are they do expire the 31st. I would go and order them now just to make sure you get them in time to at least do this monthly deal or to be able to just buy them on the 31st Sunday when they expire to get them for relatively cheap. So that's it um, for uh, Rite Aid. I'm not sure if I'm doing any more Rite Aid um, this week. I just have to finish up my Snapware deal, my other card, and then that's it. Um, so... But I'll let you know if I do anything. Um, next Sunday, I do plan on getting quite a bit of stuff at Rite Aid. But I'll try to go over that uh, Friday night what I'm going to get. So let me know if any comments. I'll try to post a few links. Um, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions, any comments. I kind of blanked out there for a minute. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one in my CVS. Happy shopping.